You excited about Euro 2012? Remember Euro 88? It's gas, isn't it? This time round the Euro was also our currency, mate. Well, that's the rumorism on the Nasdaq Shagalak. It's a big yes from McLean and a big no to that poxy fiscal pact. No way, no way, no way, no way. I mean, who put the ball in the English net? Now you can relive that moment over and over again on the internet, but back then around how then I had still to do me inter yet. In 88 we was into poverty, but in 2012 we were into debt. I mean, last time round we were too naive to be politically correct. If I remember rightly, a certain sprightly uh, banner of the Packy Gardy there, and uh, Mr. Charlton of the Jackie played at Grand Laddy Cool, extending our playing pool by bending the Grand Mammy Granddaddy rule. On 88, we battered the bleeding bejesus out of the ball as if we were defending the honour of the punt and punt. We bypassed a high class midfield going far too quickly from the back to the front. And now this Euro round, we'll receive the real pound now the Bureau cats in charge. Here Ireland's call, it's backs to the wall. Yes sir, yes sir, Sarge. Oh, it's 24 years since we got to the Euritz. 24 years since race got in Stuttgart. But I'll never forget the green flags of that summer. The feeling that everyone played equal part. Now the tourney is in Poland and the Ukraine. It's funny though, the money though makes this one feel somewhat strange. I mean, back then I was too young to be interested in the foreign exchange, but now I know that the currency currently could do with some change. In 2012 I don't see any union, uh, unison, unity or united. At least in 88 if we were in the tunnel, we were still pulling though it was unloaded. It was dark then in the park then, but someone would come and rob or rub some tinder and we'd all blow together on the same suffered and sin. In 88, Dublin celebrated her uh, a la mil millennium. In 2012, we owe a millennium trillennium and we'll still be paying the wacky back payback way into the next millennium but we won't need any pockets for only invisible cash we'll be filling then. We best make the most of these opportunities to fleetingly forget. So you tell me who's going to put the ball in the Italian's net. We may as well make the most of it now that we've borrowed, borrowed our way there. So let's pray to the Arsenal Liam Brady and not the Cardinal Sean Daly that Robbie Keane doesn't get a hamstring tear. Somebody please shampoo Kevin Doyle and some <coughs> confidence conditioner and please teach Mr. McGeady to be a clinical physician. Let's pray John O'Shea embodies a responsible decision there and may we not get enough of the duff stuff in the final tour position there and may Dickie Dunn do a Paul McGrath and play with tenacious precision there and may the 2012 wheel do an 88 wheel and play with imagination and flair and may Trapatoni's bar look kindly upon the pockets of its uh, punters and for a little while let's all become Stephen believing hunters for it's a shame given our keeper is going to be kept a real busy man but thankfully we've no height or heat to spin the feet to dizzy man so from the good thanks man to the pause man from america and the oz man let's get behind and support ireland's cause man because this nation it's still our nation we are not yet its in-laws man oh it's 24 years since we got to the units 24 years since race guard in Stuttgart But I will never forget the green flags of that summer And the feeling that everyone played equal part